Hello and welcome to another video by Georgie Shed. In today's video we're going to be building a pair of A320 throttles. Let's get started. Okay, so here are all our printed pieces, and as well as the printed pieces, you're going to need a 10k potentiometer, a two 24mm M3 bolts, and one 17mm M3 bolt. So, we can only assemble uh, some parts of it because we're going to paint it as we go along. So, uh, first of all, we're going to start to assemble the main thrust handle. So. If you can first start by pushing the handle piece through and then oops so we first need to put on this um, this piece and then we can push the handle through both of them like that so now you can see that that piece is attached so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of our 24mm M3 bolts which you can just uh, make by cutting down a a longer bolt. I'm going to push that through there. So first of all that we can see that that is how that is going to go together. So I'm going to use some super glue and I'm going to glue these two pieces together using the bolt as a reference point to ensure that it's properly aligned and then also pushing the handle through so again make sure it's all properly aligned. So then super glue acts quite quickly so once you push it together you can uh, sort of forget about it just making sure that glue doesn't seep out the sides which it has done this time. So that's that. And then we can do the other side. So the other piece goes on here and uh, I'm not going to glue this piece because we're going to need access in here when we put the wire through. So um, you can just uh, leave that for now but well we're going to screw it on so if you just hold it tight to where it needs to be and then obviously tighten up the bolt and the bolt should be a loose fit through uh, the first two pieces and then a tight fit through the last one so obviously it uh, tightens them together. So like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble the handle mechanism or the reverse lever mechanism. So I just need to clean up these prints a little bit. So this part here, the sort of uh, main mechanism lever, this has to be printed in two parts because obviously it's really difficult to print otherwise, so uh, those need to be glued together. And then now we can use our shorter bolt. To ensure that these are aligned. Some of the bolts, as you can see, are tighter than others, depending on your 3D printer. So I'm just going to strip off some of the extra plastic. So if it's a little bit tight what you can do is just tighten up the screw, the bolt all the way and then just keep turning it and that will strip out any plastic that's uh, in the way. So 
So now we can take that bolt out once the glue's had sort of chance to hold it in the right place. And then we can attach the attach it to the handle. So one side of this lever mechanism is slightly longer than the other one. And we can do that by putting it in the handle. Again, just making sure it's a nice fit because it should be loose in the handle. So sometimes just putting the part in and wiggling it about is enough to free it up. So if we start to think about which way it's going to go in, we can see that the longer side needs to be um, towards the thicker part of the handle. So in this case that's the wrong way around. So now we know the orientation, we can then put the short bolt through the handle. So now that is inserted, we can sort of give it a wiggle to sort of free it up a bit because this one is a bit stiff. But you need to make sure that the bolt head is flush with the side of the handle or you won't be able to operate the handle because it will get jammed. So now you can place the reverser lever into the housing and uh, hopefully at this point it will fit so you can see how it works and then we can put the bolt in. So now we can put the second bolt through the handle. Again this should be a loose fit which it is. So making sure to put the, the base of the lever into the slot. Can then put the lever into place and put the bolt through. So with the, the bolt put in, the lever should move up and down fairly freely. So this is a bit stiff. So if it's a bit stiff, you can undo the bolt a little bit to try and free it up. So there we go, that is uh, the main handle assembly complete. So now we can move on to the main lever mechanism. Um, so, in this case, the supports. need to be removed so the best way to do this is just with a drill
So now we can glue the uh, the smaller supports onto the sides of the thing. So the next step is to put the potentiometer through the mounting hole and then attach the nut. So once that's tightened on, um, we then need to glue on the other halves of the mounting plate. So the smaller one goes at the base and the larger one goes at the other side um, where the larger gap is. It's fairly straightforward. So again just using some super glue and just glue that on. So as soon as they're dry and you can uh, glue the other side on. To complete the housing. So uh, as well, don't worry if uh, these, if the sides are quite perfectly aligned. Because my printer, if the orientation isn't exactly the same, the X and Y axes are slightly uh, different. Um, but as long as sort of it matches from here to about here, then that's fine. Because this bit's going to be covered up by um, some cosmetic stuff later, and the, the bottom bit is just a mounting bracket. So the paint I'm using is just uh, some cheap uh, grey primer. You can use whatever paint you have to match the rest of your cockpit. So then I'm just going to give everything a nice cut. There we go. So now I can leave that to dry. So now the next thing is obviously the handle. So I'm going to begin to paint that. So I find the easiest way to paint this is just to clamp it into a into a vise. So I'll just put that on there now. So then now I'm going to paint this. Like that and then you can leave that to dry. So I'm just going to mount it uh, flat so the paint doesn't uh, collect up. Okay, so now we've got our painted ha uh, handle and throttle mount, we can now uh, finalise the assembly. So next is this sort of uh, semi ball bearing thing, um, which allows us to latch into the detents. So to assemble this, all we need to do is put the spring in the hole and then push it all into the guide. It's uh, a little bit stiff, so I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, WD-40 into the ball bearing mechanism and see if that helps. Wait. 
much it definitely has. So there we go, this is uh, this lever completed. So as you can see, pull it up and we have our reverse thrust. Push it down and we've got click, 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 our three detents. So that is uh, working perfectly. So now we need to make another one. Okay, so uh, here is uh, the first throttle I made that, uh, that is uh, now installed. And um, this has a few issues that have been fixed in the, in the version you've just uh, seen me build. Um, but it does essentially work. It's just the, uh, the latching system isn't ideal. Um, so anyway, now I'm going. Here is our the one I've just built. So this is a uh, this is um, lovely and smooth. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this next to it. Um, so then we can sort of see how it's going to look, and then I think that'll be the end of uh, part one. So uh, I've already screwed this in. So obviously these are going to fit next to each other like that. And the method of installation that I've found works the best is um, to drill through the uh, the wood and the plastic and then just put a bolt and a nut through. So trying to get the uh, spacing approximately. So I think these are M4 nuts and bolts off the top of my head. So they push through like that and then put a nut on the other side and then tighten it up. Thanks for watching, that's the end of part one. In part two, we're going to fit the auto throttle disconnect buttons and we're going to wire up the potentiometers to an Arduino so this is, will actually control the sim. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye!